Isn't it ironic that the average business, American small business, entrepreneur, freelancer, whatever you want to call them, most of them last one to three years, meaning somewhere in the time frame between the first year in business when they're really passionate and they really love what they do, and the third year in business, they run out of money, run out of hope, run out of dreams, run out of something, and they just fail. Welcome to Leading Leaders Podcast. Five minute videos, five days a week. I'm Jay Warren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. I think that reality is true for a lot of people in maybe more than one area. It, see, it's not just in the small business one. Maybe it's in their relationship. Maybe it's in studying a particular topic or, you know, going to college. Maybe that's why colleges are four years and, you know, a master's degree is eight to ten years and a PhD is another six to eight to ten years on top of that depending on how dedicated you are to that thing. See, I, at 8 o'clock this morning, I'm supposed to release a video. I made the commitment to the guest that was in the video, and I made a commitment to my audience that I'll release this video at 8 a.m. And as I was wrapping up last night, the last five minutes of editing, I thought, man, all I got left to do is put the text over it and put in some B-roll, and, and I'm good to go. I can process this at 7 a.m. It's going to be golden. And then I started watching some previews and I realized that at some point in the course of a 45 minute, 50 minute interview, my audio got out of sync with two of the camera angles. Oh my gosh. That means I have to, no exaggeration, start over. I have to reload all three camera angles back into the editing bay. I have to start over with the cutting process, which means, yes, watching the video for the 57,000th time in order to cut it back to the right place. So Clint, I'm sorry, it's probably not gonna make it by eight o'clock because that's a lot of work to do between now and eight o'clock. But I will get it up there and I will tag you when I do. But see, the point of this message is persistence. It would be easy to look at it and go, oh man, never mind, I'll just do the next one. Forget about it, I, I'm not gonna make the deadline of eight o'clock, I'll just let that one slide and move on to the next one. And I'm, I'm here to challenge you and ask you the question, how often do you find yourself running up against the challenges of life in a relationship, in an education, in a job, in a new career venture, in a, in a small business venture, and that little bit of an obstacle, that one delay, that one hold up, holds you up to the point that you just quit. See, last night I had a chance to speak with a, a, a group of people, a small, private, intimate group of people, maybe a couple dozen. But these are all people who have run into some of the biggest roadblocks in life. Meaning, whether by their own mistake or someone else's inspiration, they've committed a crime that landed them in jail. And because they've landed themselves in jail, they now have a criminal record. And with a criminal record, it's really hard to start your own business or to get a job. It's really hard to be out there in the capacities of life that everybody else expects to succeed when you have a criminal record because not everybody is willing to accept that. That's a significant roadblock, my friends. But see, I was there to talk to them about the power of their story and how to use the stories of their own life and their own experiences to go get that job, to create that dream, to build persistence into their life, and to continue to plow forward. And more than a dozen of them raised their hand and said, please, work with me one-on-one -on -one and help me recraft my story, not just so that I have something intelligent and articulate to tell would-be employers or, or customers, but so I can see myself in a different light. And I can't tell you how excited I am. Sherry Garcia was the one who uh, invited me to come in and speak to her team at Cornbread Hustle. But to see people who are pers persistently challenging themselves, pushing against, uh, my mentors at Empowered Living, these are the guys that I look to, to to challenge me, to push me even further. Roddy Galbraith and Paul Martinelli and Josh Finley. These are the guys that every morning I listen to what they have to say. And we, they talk through thinking we're rich and they talked today about persistence. And I thought, you know, how powerful is persistence? When we look at the times that we fail in our life and we think one to three years in a relationship, in a job, in an education, in a new business. But Malcolm Gladwell says to me, give me 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours at a 40-hour work week, that's 20 hours, 2,080 hours a week, that's five years. 
give me five years. Give me five years at whatever it is. Five years of getting up every day and doing it. Of showing up every time, even when you fail. Of looking past the obstacles of your own past, of your own mistakes, of your own failures, of your own running into the wall. Give me five years of doing that again and again and again and again and again, and you will be an expert in persistence and an expert in overcoming those obstacles and an expert at whatever it is that you've applied your hand to. See, here's a, a reality about nature. Trees, when they die, they rot. Sometimes a branch will rot while the tree still appears to be alive. A house, a building left unkept, left untended, it'll fall down. A car left in the field in a pasture, not washed, not cleaned, it will rust. Everything on this earth is in a constant state of decay. It's not intentionally, it's not unintentionally and accidentally getting better. Neither will your success, neither will your personal growth, neither will your relationships, neither will your achievements. If you want those things to happen in your life, you have to apply you. You're going to have to work at it. You're going to have to put some effort into it because success ain't chasing nobody down. If you want it, you got to go get it. And you got to keep going to get it and keep going to get it and keep going to get it. The challenge for those of us in this mentorship program, and it's free, by the way, if you're not a part of Thinking Grow Rich 5 or Thinking Grow Rich 2020, just go to TAGR2020 and you can catch the last half of this. But the challenge to those of us in the mentoring program today was this. Read the chapter on persistence 14 days in a row. And if you get to day 12 and you miss a day, go back to day one and start over again and read the chapter on persistence 14 days in a row. And if you get to day three and you miss a day, go back to number one and read the chapter on persistence 14 days in a row. Why? Not only because the content of the chapter is going to change the shape of your life, but also because the intentional persistence, the discipline, and the desire that come together to cause you to do the same thing every day, repetitiously, even to the point of redundance. That, my friend, is what leads to success. So if you want to be a success in relationships, careers, education, whatever it is, telling your story, living your life, if you want to be a success, understand success is always uphill. It's never downhill. It's not going to come to you, and it's not going to chase you down. You're going to have to do the work, and you're going to have to do it persistently. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Subscribe now for our extensive video library of leadership lessons promoting faith, family, and freedom.